Anti-inflammatory, Wikipedia article audio. Anti-inflammatory, or anti-inflammatory, refers to the property of a substance or treatment that reduces inflammation or swelling. Anti-inflammatory drugs make up about half of analgesics, remedying pain by reducing inflammation as opposed to opioids, which affect the central nervous system to block pain signaling to the brain. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs alleviate pain by counteracting the cyclooxygenase enzyme. On its own, COX enzyme synthesizes prostaglandins, creating inflammation. In whole, the NSAIDs prevent the prostaglandins from ever being synthesized, reducing or eliminating the pain. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs Side effects Some common examples of NSAIDs are aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen. The newer specific COX inhibitors are not classified together with the traditional NSAIDs even though they presumably share the same mode of action. On the other hand, there are analgesics that are commonly associated with anti-inflammatory drugs but that have no anti-inflammatory effects. An example is paracetamol. As opposed to NSAIDs, which reduce pain and inflammation by inhibiting COX enzymes, paracetamol has, as early as 2006, been shown to block the reuptake of endocannabinoids, which only reduces pain, likely explaining why it has minimal effect on inflammation. Paracetamol is sometimes combined with an NSAID in clinical practice to enhance the pain relief of the NSAID while still receiving the injury-slash-disease modulating effect of NSAID-induced inflammation reduction. Long-term use of NSAIDs can cause gastric erosions, which can become stomach ulcers and in extreme cases can cause severe hemorrhage, resulting in death. The risk of death as a result of GI bleeding caused by the use of NSAIDs is 1 in 12,000 for adults aged 16-45. The risk increases almost 20-fold for those over 75. Other dangers of NSAIDs are exacerbating asthma and causing kidney damage. Apart from aspirin, prescription, and over-the-counter NSAIDs also increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. Antilocotrines are anti-inflammatory agents which function as leukotriene-related enzyme inhibitors or leukotriene receptor antagonists and consequently oppose the function of these inflammatory mediators. Although they are not used for analgesic benefits they are widely utilized in the treatment of diseases related to inflammation of the lungs such as asthma and COPD as well as sinus inflammation in allergic rhinitis. They are also being investigated for use in diseases and injuries involving inflammation of the brain. IMSAIDs are a class of peptides being developed by Imulin Biotherapeutics, LLC which were discovered to have diverse biological properties, including anti-inflammatory properties. IMSAIDs work by altering the activation and migration of inflammatory cells, which are immune cells responsible for amplifying the inflammatory response. The IMSAIDs represent a new category of anti-inflammatory and are unrelated to steroid hormones or nonsteroidal anti-inflammatories. Antilocotrines. The IMSAIDs were discovered by scientists evaluating biological properties of the submandibular gland and saliva. Early work in this area demonstrated that the submandibular gland released a host of factors that regulate systemic inflammatory responses and modulate systemic immune and inflammatory reactions. It is now well accepted that the immune, nervous, and endocrine systems communicate and interact to control and modulate inflammation and tissue repair. One of the neuroendocrine pathways, when activated, 
results in the release of immune-regulating peptides from the submandibular gland upon neuronal stimulation from sympathetic nerves. This pathway or communication is referred to as the cervical sympathetic trunk submandibular gland axis, a regulatory system that plays a role in the systemic control of inflammation. Early work in identifying factors that played a role in the CSTSMG axis lead to the discovery of a 7-amino acid peptide, called the submandibular gland peptide T. SGPT was demonstrated to have biological activity and thermoregulatory properties related to endotoxin exposure. SGPT, an isolate of the submandibular gland, demonstrated its immunoregulatory properties and potential role in modulating the cervical sympathetic trunk submandibular gland axis, and subsequently was shown to play an important role in the control of inflammation. Immune Selective Anti-Inflammatory Derivatives One SGPT derivative is a 3-amino acid sequence shown to be a potent anti-inflammatory molecule with systemic effects. This 3-amino acid peptide is phenylalanine, glutamine, glycine and its D-isomeric form have become the foundation for the IMSAID category. Cellular Effects of FEG the cellular effects of the IMSAIDs are characterized in a number of publications. FEG and related peptides are known to modulate leukocyte activity by influencing cell surface receptors to inhibit excessive activation and tissue infiltration. One lead IMSAID, the tripeptide FEG and its D isomer FEG are known to alter leukocyte adhesion involving actions on alpha M beta 2 INTE GRIN, and inhibit the binding of CD16 B antibody to human neutrophils. FEG has also been shown to decrease circulating neutrophil and eosinophil accumulation, decrease intracellular oxidative activity and reduce the expression of CD490 after antigen exposure. Many bioactive compounds showed anti-inflammatory activities on albino rat. More recently plume ricin from the Amazonian plant Hematanthus succuba has been described as a potent anti-inflammatory agent in vitro and in vivo. Bioactive Compounds Anti-inflammatory treatment trials for existing Alzheimer's disease have typically shown little to no effect on halting or reversing the disease. Research and clinical trials continue. Two studies from 2012 and 2013 found regular use of aspirin for over 10 years is associated with an increase in the risk of macular degeneration. Long-term effects Applying ice, or even cool water, to a tissue injury has an anti-inflammatory effect and is often suggested as an injury treatment and pain management technique for athletes. One common approach is rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Cool temperatures inhibit local blood circulation, which reduces swelling in the injured tissue. Ice Treatment in addition to medical drugs, some herbs and health supplements may have anti-inflammatory qualities, bromelin from pineapples. Cannabichromine, a cannabinoid, also has anti-inflammatory effect. Onyx shawl from magnolia inhibits platelet aggregation, and works as an inverse agonist at the CB2 receptor. Black seed has shown anti-inflammatory effect due to its high thymokinin content. St. John's word S chief constituent, hyperforin, has been found to be a potent COX-1 and 5 low inhibitor, with anti-inflammatory effects several fold that of aspirin. Coal tar has been used for centuries for its anti-inflammatory and analgesic effects. Oral administration for central effects is now rare as coal tar also contains a range of dangerous and carcinogenic compounds, 
and does not allow for the administration of standardized doses, although some doctors readily utilize coal tar preparations for topical administration in the treatment of skin conditions such as eczema and atopic dermatitis. Many modern analgesics and anti-inflammatory agents are derived from compounds which were originally discovered during studies to elucidate the chemicals responsible for the tar's reputed health benefits. Health Supplements Prostaglandins are hormone-like substances that affect the body in variety of ways, also regulating inflammatory mediation. An anti-inflammatory diet includes fewer foods that create inflammation causing prostaglandins in the body, and more foods that create anti-inflammatory prostaglandins. Suggested diets to reduce inflammation include those rich in vegetables and low in simple carbohydrates, and fats such as saturated fats and trans fats. Anti-inflammatory foods include most colorful fruits and vegetables, oily fish, nuts, seeds, and certain spices, such as ginger, garlic, and cayenne. Extra virgin olive oil contains the chemical oleocanthal that acts similarly to ibuprofen. Those following an anti-inflammatory diet will avoid refined oils and sugars, and show a preference for so-called anti-inflammatory foods in their meal choices. Omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to disrupt inflammation cell signaling pathways by binding to the GPR120 receptor. This benefit however can be inhibited or even reversed if the ratio of omega-6 slash omega-3 is too high as omega-6 serves as a precursor to inflammatory chemicals in the body. A high proportion of omega-6 to omega-3 fat in the diet shifts the physiological state in the tissues toward the pathogenesis of many diseases, prothrombotic, proinflammatory and proconstrictive. Omega-6 competes with omega-3 for the same rate-limiting factor which is required for the health benefits of omega-3, directly reducing the action of omega-3 in addition to pharmacologically counteracting omega-3 benefits through its own action as a pro-inflammatory agent. The Dietary Inflammatory Index is a score that describes the potential of diet to modulate systemic inflammation within the body. The creation of the DI is attributed to scientists led by James R. A. Bear at the statewide South Carolina Cancer Prevention and Control Program in the University of South Carolina. The DI has been subjected to construct validation, which tested its ability to predict blood levels of inflammatory markers. Developing research has demonstrated that many of the benefits of exercise are mediated through the role of skeletal muscle as an endocrine organ. That is, contracting muscles release multiple substances known as myokines which promote the growth of new tissue, tissue repair, and various anti-inflammatory functions, which in turn reduce the risk of developing various inflammatory diseases. Anti-inflammatory foods Patients on NSAIDs should seek to avoid excessive consumption of omega-6 containing foods. Although many such foods contain the anti-inflammatory omega-3 as well, low doses of omega-6 interfere with omega-3's ability to reduce inflammation, while higher doses are capable of completely inhibiting the effects of most currently used anti-inflammatory agents. Measurement of Dietary Inflammation The concomitant use of NSAIDs with alcohol and slash or tobacco products significantly increases the already elevated risk of peptic ulcers during NSAID therapy. NSAID painkillers may interfere with and reduce the efficacy of SSRI antidepressants through inhibiting TNF-alpha and IFN, both of which are cytokine derivatives. Exercise Interactions with NSAIDs